So a few weeks ago, you guys watched me slap a relatively new RX 588 GB in this old dusty motherfucker right here. First impressions of the graphics card were, it's good, it's just whiny as all hell like most Americans. That opinion has only strengthened dramatically over the past few weeks. Today we'll be discussing the RX 588 GB from PowerColor. No, not the Red Devil version, you freaking silly. It's the Broke Boy version. We got the Red Dragon. I mean, in reality, the, the Red Devil and the Red Dragon are like, actually I think the Red Devils are cheaper. Don't know, don't care. We're not talking about them in this video. Today we'll be talking about why you, yes you, you sweaty PC fucking nerd neck, why you should avoid this thing. If you do go on to enjoy this very short video, please be sure to drop it a short like and a very short subscription. I am trying to hit the very short number of 10,000 short subscribers. Thank you. Without further ado, let's discuss this whiny little bit. So let's get something out of the way right now. It does perform like an RX 588 gigabyte. It performs very, very well. When it comes to the thermals, I cannot ask for better. It tears my fucking frame rates apart in game. It, it, it edits like a goddamn tank. Even after stressing this thing to the max, like the, I've stressed this thing to the max only a few times using a BeamNG smoke simulation, which is a lot more fucking intense than you think. It takes about as much energy as the sun gives off in its entire lifetime. Even through all that though, it's only hit about 73 degrees Celsius maximum, and that's only happened once or twice. On stock pace, the temperatures were lower, but we won't talk about that. So thermals are great, and it performs like a beast. I can even simulate an entire realistic universe on this thing. I'm saying all this because I'm about to shit all over it. I just want you to know, bud, I love you. I love you to pieces. This thing is louder than a fucking Zarabama. It's louder than a Karen at Walmart. It's louder than a sports bike with uh, one of those really short, stocky, straight pipes. It's louder than a baby crying at night. It's louder than a fucking train when you're sitting right next to it. Just listen. Have a listen. So, uh, I have the GPU pegged at 100%, but I also kind of paused it on the, the smoke simulation. I'm currently using 150 watts and hitting temperatures way, way, way higher than I thought I would. Even at 70% though, you're still getting sound like this. I think the card's TDP is 160 some odd watts, like 165. We're also using 7 gigabytes of RAM and not, not much VRAM. This is a little more extreme than I thought it'd be, but it's just, just about as crazy as it gets. I don't have a decibel meter, so I can't actually get a scientifically accurate reading, but I, I, 150,000, 150,000, that's my number. So in my video putting this thing together, I talked about coil wine, which was something everybody online who had one of these was fucking complaining about and I ignored. Wasn't everyone. Some people said that they got it, some people said they didn't, and I was like, okay, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Sure, why the fuck not? Yes, it did have coil wine. Yes, I, I didn't give a fuck. I've had a laptop, dude. I've had way worse experiences, way worse experiences, trust me. But holy shit, the fans are god awful awful oh i cannot put my side panel on and suppress the sound at all i put my side panel on during streams because it keeps the sound from directly hitting my microphone but it barely works still this has to be hands down one of if not the loudest fucking rx 580 on the face of the milky way i could not have asked for a better graphics card too the pairing with my i7 3770 it works perfectly but holy shit dude now, as you guys know, I do have a plan for a future rig that's going to involve another RX card. It's going to be the 5700 XT or maybe one of the RX 6000 series GPUs. I was going to get another one from PowerColor so I could, you know, have matching graphics cards, you know. I'm not fucking doing that. And if I do, uh, I'm doing a lot of research because I will never buy another PowerColor product without hours of research. I did hours of research on this thing, too. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot recommend this card to anybody. The risk of getting a card this loud is a, is a, a solid no. All right, recommendation times. You want to go to RX 588 gig, I'd recommend Sapphire Pulse, Sapphire Nitro, MSI Armor, MSI Gaming X. You get the point, I'm an AMD fanboy. All the cards I just listed, besides the, the Sapphire ones, are in the uh, the price range that mine was. The Sapphire ones actually might be cheaper now, I haven't checked in a minute, but they all should be under $170. If they're not, do not buy them. In fact, not even 100, 160, 150, Jesus fucking Christ, these are RX 580s, dude. I'll have more videos on this obnoxious fucker in the future, but in every video I'm going to say in the beginning, do not buy this graphics card. You okay, bud? 
I didn't want to rip into you too bad, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very, very happy with the system still. I, I actually did plan on doing more videos about it, but I didn't really think people were that interested. But, uh, I do have one of the last pieces of the puzzle. Got some RAM. So now I have a power supply, a graphics card, hard drives, RAM, and I do have a case that supports full ATX motherboards. So, realistically, if I wanted to, all I need is a graphics, or not a graphics card, fucking stupid, a CPU and a motherboard. And uh, I think I'm gonna do that. Let me know if you'd be interested in a, a, a build, a full build. This would be a full build. I'd be taking everything out, putting all new shit in. I'd have to clean the case out and everything. Your dope video. Anyways, uh, I hope my members enjoyed. Hold on. I'm thinking about getting one of those lapel microphones I can just put like right here so I don't have to worry about, you know, over here it sounds quiet as shit. Up here it sounds loud as fuck. Every fucking day we get new members. I, I don't know how we got here because I, I anticipated hitting 2,000 subscribers at the end of this year. This shit's insane. New members. I'm sorry, Hebrobrine. I said your name wrong last time. With the PC Master Race, we have IMZ, Astruco, and D Jock. D Jock? Jock? Noah. And with the console tier, we have Hebrobrine 3, Waterless, Crazy B, JG, and The Ballin' Boy. You guys are all fucking ballers, you know that? I cannot thank you guys enough. You guys are actually helping out the channel so fucking much and it's just it's crazy that we got here i did not expect to have two members by the end of the year eight goddamn members bro but i love you boys if you'd like to become a member there's a, a join button down below uh the crust of the thing i don't know what the fuck i'm doing anymore i'm doing a bunch of space shit lately which i actually might incorporate into the channel sometime soon i don't know yet that's kind of still up in the air if you wanted to enjoy this uh a another amalgamation of shit Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video where I shit on another graphics card. Actually, Power Fusion Pro review. Be there, Friday. I love you guys. Peace.